Hello from Shrex and hello from Smartherd. Welcome guys to tutorial number 7 of Android app development. This is a part 4 tutorial guys and is a continuation of the hello world getting started tutorials. In this tutorial I am not going to bore you with more slide stuffs. I am just going to show you how to run your application in your Android virtual devices. Let's go to your Eclipse, right? This was the portion from where we left our tutorial number 3rd. Now here in the main activity we had some codes, in activity main we had some codes, in string.xml we had some codes. Now this is your manifest.xml, just double click on it. Here in the first app manifest you can see at the bottom 5 tabs are there. Just click on this android manifest.xml. After clicking this you will see the codes of the manifest file. Now I will talk about this manifest file in the future tutorial. So don't worry about these codes. These are also quite simple codes. No need to worry about it. Now how to create an android virtual device. Let's go to windows. Right inside the windows you will find android virtual device manager. Just double click on it. Right. You will get a pop up window. Now here I have already created few devices. I will teach you how to create a new device. Just click on this new, right? A window will appear. Now here you have to give the name of your device. Let's say Shrix device. Now device type. Let me select here 5.1480 into 100 MDPI, right? Now the target always keep it a Froyo API level 8. After this keyboard, yeah, we need this skin. Just click on skin with dynamic hardware controls, right? Back camera, we don't need it now. Snapshot, use GPO. Just leave all these stuffs, keep it as it is by default. Set up first, just click OK. Now just click on this and then click on start. Make sure this box is checked. Now just click on launch. It will start our Android virtual device. It will take a while to set up. Now our device has been started. We can see a page similar to our smartphones. That is why it is called a virtual device manager and it is a virtual device. Just minimize it, close it. Now how to run your application in this virtual device that we created. Now simply click your first app then right click it. You can see option here run as then after that go to run configuration. Right now here guys there is another way guys to launch this run configuration. Just go to here after that click on run configuration. You will get this pop up window. Now after that click on browse. Here you have to select your first app. Your first app should be here right. After that apply. Click on apply here. After that go to target. Then always select this prompt to pick device right hit apply then click on run right it will ask which emulator you want to use if you want to use another emulator you can select it from here that we all that i have already created now as of now i will click on this emulator then click ok it will take a while to launch Yeah, bingo. Here we go. Here our first application is running with a title bar at the top and hello world below the title bar. Now guys in the previous tutorial I talked about the differences between the action bar activity and the activity class. Now let us check those differences out. Just go to main activity Java. Here you can see action bar activity is there. Just delete this. Just type A C then use control space. Always use control space. You can get all the classes that starts with AC. All these things are there. Our destiny is activity. Just double click on it. Right here. If you maximize this you will find lots of import packages are there. Now when we imported this activity Android app dot activity got automatically imported. You don't have to type all these stuffs. Now let us now remove this right here. You can see the error messages coming. 
let's see what the activity cannot be resolved to a type now simply hover over this activity you will find the 14 quick fixes available now the first one is import activity android app when we click on this option right what happened this import function got incorporated into our main activity at java so our error is now rectified let's minimize it now let's run the application with this super class as activity now let's save our application make a note guys if you're running your application for the second time then you don't have to right click or go to run configuration or whatever simply click on this run first app right select this emulator click ok yeah here our app is running now here we can't find our title bar so this depicts the difference between the activity and the action bar activity so which is better guys activity or action bar activity it's up to you i will use the action bar activity class in all the tutorials because the latest ADT plugin automatically extends the action bar activity here and also import this external jar into our workspace this is a higher level concept guys i will talk about it very detailed in the downline tutorials so don't worry about it right now just focus on the basics as of now right so this is all for this tutorial guys i will catch you guys in next tutorial please don't forget to subscribe and do leave a comment below my video this is shrakes from smarthood signing off